transcription what is transcription transcription is the process of synthesizing all types of rna from a single dna template strand and this process is done by the help of enzyme dna dependent rna polymerase it is first part of central dogma now the question is what is central dogma then central dogma is the main process in all living beings so what is it from dna rna is synthesized this process is called transcription just now we learned from rna protein is synthesized this process is called translation which is discussed in another slide central dogma also includes dna to dna that is dna replication now let's discuss about transcription first thing we'll study we will discuss is transcription unit what is transcription unit it is part of dna template which takes part in transcription so it is part of dna and it takes part in transcription and it consists of mainly three parts these parts are promoter template strand and terminator now what is promoter a specific site a specific base sequence in dna near the 3 prime end this is the 3 prime end just a moment i will write this is the 3 prime end so promoter is the specific base sequence near the 3 prime end of dna template to which the first rna polymerase recognizes the site and then it comes and attaches itself with this site i repeat promoter is the specific base sequence present in template dna strand which is first recognized by rna polymerase then in the second step rna polymerase comes and binds with this site now coming to template strand it is the dna strand in the double stranded dna which is copied or transcribed to form the rna now what is terminator it is a, again a specific sequence in the uh, dna template strand this is identified by the rna polymerase and transcription stops why it stops because uh, the shape of this site is such that rna polymerase as well as the nascent rna that is newly synthesized rna falls off from the template strand so detachment of rna polymerase as well as newly synthesized rna occurs at a specific site this site is called terminator now here you can see one name is there that is the coding strand that's the non template strand so what it is it is the strand which do not act as template for the synthesis of rna that is uh, transcription and all reference related to transcription is given about this strand and interesting fact is if you just change the location of terminator if you make the location of terminator here if you just change the location of terminator as well as promoter just opposite then the strand of uh, template strand and coding strand will just be opposite to each other now coming to the next part that is types of rna why we have to learn types of rna in transcription because all types of rna are synthesized during 
transcription but the main end product of transcription is mrna what is mrna messenger rna so this is one type another type is trna or transfer rna third and last type is ribosomal or rrna messenger rna as i told trna or transfer rna acts as carrier during translation that is protein synthesis and rrna or ribosomal rna acts as site for translation which will be discussed in the next uh, session in detail now transcription the process of transcription occur in three main stages or steps what are the steps as you can see here the first step is initiation second step elongation and the third and last step termination as we know initiation means starting something elongation means stretching something to increase in length termination the stopping of some process so initiation obviously in, during this process during this step of transcription uh, the process of actual transcription starts how it is started first step in the first step dna dependent rna polymerase comes and recognizes the promoter as you can see the sigma factor present in rna polymerase can read the sequence as shown in yellow color can uh, read the promoter sequence now once uh, rna polymerase the sigma factor of rna polymerase recognizes the promoter rna polymerase comes and binds with it so uh, sigma factor is also called initiation factor sigma factor sigma just a moment sigma factor is known as initiation factor now coming to elongation so uh, uh, helicase helps in unwinding of a uh, double stranded dna and uh, rna polymerase can freely move along the template dna strand as it moves forward it keeps on adding ribonucleotides as a result the newly synthesized rna strand keeps on growing so elongation basically is the process of elong uh, addition of ribonucleotides now the last step that is termination as you can see rho factor again another factor rho factor of um, rna polymerase uh, can recognize the termination sequence here in shown in uh, green color in the dna strand so rho factor binds recognizes termination sequence and the shape of termination is such that it removes uh, rna polymerase as well as newly synthesized rna as i told during ter termination the both of these fall off from the template strand so this stops the process of uh, transcription okay so stages first one is let me write here so three stages of a uh, transcription first one is initiation second one elongation as it is written and third one termination and the most important information which i haven't told till now that transcription always occurs from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so the strand which is from 3 prime to 5 prime direction that can only act as template so here the strand shown in pink acts as template because it's 3 prime to 5 prime and the direction of synthesis of rna or transcription occurs like this
now moving on to the so as you can see this is transcription in bacteria so we all know that the genetic material is uh, that dna is exposed in the cytoplasm in case of bacteria so along with the process of transcription the translation also starts i can write down translation also starts translation also starts in bacteria before termination of transcription that is protein synthesis starts before uh, rna synthesis is completed why because uh, both the location of transcription and translation is same for bacteria now coming to the difference in between transcription of bacteria or prokaryotes with eukaryotes we all know that uh, site for transcription in case of eukaryotes is site for transcription is nucleus right nucleus whereas site for translation is cytoplasm so the this is one of the main re reasons capping and polyadenylation is done in case of eukaryotes why to protect the nascent or newly synthesized rna from the cleavage by ribonucleases now what is capping capping is the process in which methyl guanosine triphosphate is added here you can see the name mg 3p is there that is methyl guanosine triphosphate is added at the 5 prime end of newly synthesized rna that is not mrna okay and what is polyadenylation as you can see it's written polyacetyl a long chain of adenines are added at the 3 prime end of newly synthesized rna as i told earlier to protect itself to protect the newly synthesized or nascent rna from ribonucleases or any other um, enzymes now what is splicing as you can see one term is used here rna splicing to know rna splicing splicing we must know what are introns and exons so the non coding part of dna or mrna is known as non coding part or inactive portion are called introns and exons are the coding part that means exon are the active part of uh, nucleic acids which express to form proteins okay now coming to what is rna splicing so introns are unimportant part of uh, nascent rna so introns must be removed so that when protein is synthesized in the next step there won't be any difficulty so to do that uh, the in the process of removing introns from uh, the newly synthesized rna is called rna splicing so rna splicing is the process of removing introns from nascent rna now coming to the difficulties in eukaryotes in case of transcription there are at least three polymerases rna polymerases in nucleus in addition to the rna polymerase found in the organelle so what are these three polymerases polymerase 1 2 and 3 so what rna polymerase 1 does it transcribes r rnas what are the names of our rnas 28as 18as and 5.8as 
polymerase 3 is responsible for transcription of tRNA, 5 sRNA and snRNA that is small nuclear RNA. Polymerase 2 transcribes precursor of mRNA that is heterogeneous nuclear RNA, hnRNA. And then uh, the splicing is done as well as capping and tailing. So polyadenylation is called tailing.